Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of adding and subtracting positive rational numbers. This is 5.3k in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 27 off the 2022 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we've got the length of a large piece of paper was 91 and 44 hundredths. So you've got that right here. Centimeters from top to bottom. The diagram shows the length of two strips of paper. Patricia cut from the large piece. So it looks like we've got a strip here. 25 and 4 tenths. And then we've got another strip down here, 15 and 24 hundredths. What is the length in centimeters of the remaining part of the large piece from top to bottom? So we're looking for this chunk right here. And so let's see if we can show this as a strip diagram. That's going to be helpful. So I'm basically going to take this and just kind of flip it on its side. So here's my total, my whole, 91 and 44. Now, watch what I'm going to do here. I'm going to just, I'm going to rearrange them a little bit. The commutative property of addition lets me rearrange the add-ends. I'm going to draw three different chunks. They're not proportional here, but I'm going to put the two chunks I know of right here. 25.4, 15.24. So I'm missing this third chunk right here. And so you see that uh, we are just going to add these three together. But I think an easier way to do it would be to tackle it this way. Let's figure out what this chunk is right here first. And then we can see how far away that is from 91 and 44 hundredths. All right, so when I am adding two decimals, it is very, very important that we line up the decimal points. So watch this. I've got 25 and 4 tenths, and I've got 15 and 24 hundredths. So you've got two options when you line it up like this. One, you can just leave this space right here and just not count it, right? And there's just nothing there. Or you can always add a zero. Your second option, always add a zero. 25 and 40 hundredths is the same as 25 and 4 tenths, right? Because what we're seeing here is that 4 tenths is the same as 40 hundredths. You can add as many zeros after a decimal as you want to. It doesn't really make much of a difference, right? Equals 0 0.4, and then I can add as many zeros as I want to. I don't need to, but I can. So let's just add it up like this. We'll put that zero in the hundredths, hundredths place just so it looks a little bit neater. So I've got a six. Got to regroup there. All right, so this chunk right here is equal to 40 and 64 hundredths. Now, you can probably see what we need to do left. If we can say, well, 40 and 64 hundredths plus my unknown equals 91 and 44 hundredths probably would be best to write a related subtraction sentence because uh, addition and subtraction are inverse operations so most of you are probably thinking let's just subtract 91 and 44 hundredths and my little subtotal there, 40 and 64 hundredths. And if you are thinking that, you would be correct. So we're going to subtract now instead of add. So make sure we've got a different operation in our brain. 4 minus 4 is 0. We're going to need to regroup here. So that is going to be 8. That's 0. All right, so 50 and 80 hundredths. I don't see 50 and 80 hundredths. But just like I can add as many zeros as I want to after a decimal, I can drop zeros after a decimal. And 50 and 8 hundredths is the same as 50 and 8 tenths. So my answer here is going to be D.